Okay guys, we're gonna study an essential tool from Helium 10, okay? If you don't know this by now, you have to learn how to use this tool, especially if you're selling, okay? Not too much when you're about to, you know, start your product research and things like that, but when you're selling, when you're actually actively selling, this is a must, okay? This is one of my favorite tools on Helium 10. So basically it's called Keyword Tracker. For those of you who already know what this is, you already know that it's crucial, it's really important. So basically Keyword Tracker basically means it stands for, it's gonna track our keywords automatically, okay? We don't have to go day by day actually looking at the results that we get when we're actually searching our keywords manually. We don't have to do it, okay? That's why they came up with Keyword Tracker. That's what it's for, okay? So basically the way you're gonna use this is that you're gonna enter the ASIN right here. Well, I already have two products that I'm tracking here, but we're just gonna go, if you're new to Amazon or if you didn't know about this keyword and if you're actively selling, you, you're gonna come here to add new product. You're just gonna click there and you're gonna enter your ASIN, okay? This is an example. And the way it's gonna work is that it's just gonna identify what the ASIN is and it's gonna give us the name of it. So that's perfect. So, and here is where we're gonna enter the actual keywords, okay? So I have a lot of keywords here. They don't have to be in order, but they do have to be one per line, okay? So that means you cannot put something like the dollar sign or the hashtag sign because Helium 10 is gonna get confused and it's gonna think that this is a keyword when it's not, or you, you don't have to put anything like this. You don't have to put like the no numbers or no whatever, just keywords, okay? Just limit yourself on keywords and one per line, just like they tell you here, okay? So this is pretty straightforward thing, just put your ace in here and your main. I, I would recommend putting 10, 15, 20 keywords. Don't go crazy with it. You don't have to put like, 50, 100 keywords, that's not necessary. And then here on the, just to make sure that we're not making any kind of mistake when it comes to special characters. That's why I like this thing enabled. So never turn it off. And in this case, we're selling on the Amazon US. Well, in my case, it's the Amazon in the US marketplace. So it's amazon.com and then track parent product and all variations. So basically that's what we essentially need, just the a bunch of keywords and the actual ASIN right here. And then we're, we're gonna start tracking here and then it's gonna add our product here. And then I should have three products. Yes, I have this one, this recipe binder, and then this pizza container. So we're just gonna go click here. And the way you're gonna do this is by just click here on the actual product and it's gonna open the actual window, you know? If I want to take a look at this product, see how it's doing, I just click here. And then if not on my third product, I just click right there. So basically that's what we essentially want. Have our products right here. And the way this is gonna work is that as you can see, we, we're gonna have the actual keyword. We're gonna ignore all these um, parts, okay? No search volume, CPR, competing products. That's, I mean, we, we don't care about that. The only th thing that we cared about here is the organic rank, okay? This is what we wanna see here. This is what we wanna focus when we're using keyword tracker. So in this case, I don't have anything. I don't have any data. It's because I just added my product. And, and as you can see, please wait. Position for this keyword will appear here within one hour. So basically for us to start using this, we, we gotta wait a few hours, maybe one, two, three, and the more keywords that we have, the more we're gonna have to wait. But since it's just 10 keywords, then it shouldn't take that long. I don't think it's gonna take a whole hour, but it is gonna take us a few minutes. I'm, we're not gonna wait for this to load. What, we're, what I'm gonna teach you guys is how it's actually working, okay? How my products are doing right here. So basically, this is what we're gonna see, okay? So basically, we're just gonna see a gray number here. That means that on the, as far as organic rank, this is not paid traffic, okay? This is not social media traffic, Amazon PPC traffic. This is nothing like that. So this is pure, pure organic rank. So that means that on recipe book, this product is ranked on the 148 spot. So that means that I'm on the 148th spot for this keyword organically. So that means in the last 24 hours, I've lost seven spots. And that's pretty much what it means. We're gonna have green numbers here. Sometimes we're not gonna have anything, but this is pretty much what we, we wanna see, okay? Green numbers. We wanna see green numbers because we're, you know, we're, we're putting a lot of effort, a lot of money, time on setting up these campaigns. And when we find out that our efforts are not 
worth it, are not working, we're losing money, time, efforts, that hurts, right? <laughs> we don't, we don't want to do that. We want to see that actually we're making progress. So basically that means that this means that I'm making progress on this keyword. You know what they say, you cannot improve, we cannot measure. So this is how exactly you can see that you're making progress or not. This is exactly how you can see if your social media traffic is working, if your Amazon PPC is working, basically if you see green numbers here, that means you're doing something good, okay? That means you're doing something that, that's actually being really useful for you to scale up. If you see red numbers here, you should do something about it. It means that you were, whatever you're doing, it's not working. But if you see green numbers, just like I'm seeing right here, most of it, it's green numbers. That means what I'm doing for this keyword or my ASIN in general, if I'm getting traffic from social media, Amazon PPC, whatever, that means it's working. Keep doing whatever you're doing if you see green numbers here. And same thing with my second pr product here. Let's see how it's doing. Um, we don't have any any results in some keywords some of them we have positive positive results some of them we have negative results green red so that's essentially what, what we want to see okay is this is exactly what you want to see i was in the 33rd spot in the last 24 hours and that means i've ranked five spots so far one thing that you have to understand guys is that um if you're like for example if you're 66 33 100 uh, 54 and if you're seeing green numbers here you, you're not gonna see any difference in sales okay you're not gonna see any difference until you're in the top maybe 20 15 top 10 or 5 hopefully that's when you're gonna see difference okay but if you're seeing green numbers it means you're doing something good okay it means you're working it means that you're eventually gonna get there you're not gonna get there tomorrow most likely or in a week, but maybe in a month, in a few months, you will be in the top five or 10 products. And that means that you're gonna have a lot of sales. For example, in the 66 spot, that means I'm in the second page. I'm not gonna see sales in the second page, but in the 33rd spot, that means I'm somewhere around here. Um, I should be able to get some sales here, especially if the keyword is very, very popular, but I'm not gonna see the difference that I wanna see, you know? The difference that I wanna see is that I wanna get a bunch of sales. So, and you're not gonna get that, and you're not gonna get a bunch of sales until you're maybe somewhere around here. This is the fourth line, one, two, three, four, and this is the main spot. Then we have the sponsor keyword. So that's what you want to understand, okay? You're not gonna see any difference. If you're on the 50th spot, 40th spot, 30th spot, you're only gonna see sales. You're gonna see a bunch of sales when you're in the top five or 10. So you have to know that, have to use keyword tracker, especially if you're selling on Amazon, if you're actively selling on Amazon, you better track your keywords since that means that you're actually making progress or at least you know if you're making progress, okay? So you have to know where you're at in your business. So basically that's what Keyword Tracker is for. If you have any questions, hit me up on school or show up on the Wednesday call that we're gonna clear any question that you have. And thanks for watching this video. See you in the next one.